Hi, I'm Glenn Darcy, Vice President of Product Management for Arturia. Today I'm going to be telling you about our new iPad app, the iProfit. It's a Profit VS on the iPad. Welcome to iProfit. This is the main page. It's where you would do all your most important things. You can do everything from sound design in this page, because you have all your oscillators. You have your filter controls, you've got access to the envelopes, you've got your LFOs here. You also have all of your keyboard control functions. So you can scroll the keyboard, you can hold it, you can zoom it. You can do legato, you can choose unison or poly uh, modes over here. You've got all your MIDI access. If you look over here, you can see I've got a camera connection kit. That's how I'm connecting the mini lab up to this. And you can see the mini lab is shown. You can change your different MIDI channels. You can do MIDI Learn. You just tap on a control here. You would turn the knob on your controller and it will map. You can see I've got check marks on a bunch of the different things here. That means that I've already got these mapped. Um, Profit comes pre-mapped to work with the Mini Lab. So go out and buy a Mini Lab now. So the basic structure of the Profit VS was you had four oscillators, A, B, C, and D. These were digital oscillators, and they have a number of different waveforms that you can call up. And those four get mixed. Now, the way that these mix are very different than any other synth. They mix through this, uh, this kind of four-point uh, mixer here that allowed you to move around between the different waveforms with this uh, joystick here. So I can you know, have a... Let's go choose something like a sine wave on this one, and I'll leave whatever I've got on that. And I'll go find something like a, what we call a piano partial there. Um, and then let's go to something way down here on the end. Um, how about noise? And so now I can manually move between these. So I'll start off on oscillator A. So you can hear that's how you blend the different sounds together in here. So if I was to pick something a little bit more musical, you can hear how the timbre changes as you move around through that. And you know I can mix between just two, between A and B there, or B and C, or C and D. So that's what made the Prophet VS so unique. The other thing was when you transpose it down a little bit, it has kind of this great, you know, digital one transposition, and then you really start to get into the grit and the grime of the uh, of the machine. So while the Prophet VS does uh, these great evolving pads and crystal kind of 80s digital types of pads and stuff. It can do some really harsh uh, digital basses and digital lead types of sounds uh, as well. It does, them, it does them all very well. So the structure is you've got four digital oscillators that go into the vector control mixer. Out of that into this filter, the filter is a multi uh, a multi-mode filter with low pass, high pass, band pass, and band reject. Then it goes into the amplifier with the pan. You can pan each voice separately. You've got uh, effects on the output. You've got an overdrive, a chorus, and a delay. For modulators, you've got a filter envelope and a amplitude envelope, as well as two LFOs with multiple waveforms. The LFOs can sync to uh, incoming MIDI as well. At the bottom, you have all your keyboard controls. You can scroll the keyboard. You can hold notes on it. You can zoom in and out of the keyboard. Um, so I can choose zoom and do two finger pitches or pinches and if I move around I can uh, scroll them as well. If I lock it then I just am playing the notes. I can hold notes. Not real impressive in the uh, case of this kind of bass sound but uh, you can hold notes. Um, you've also got glide controls. So I can turn up the glide and play two notes. 
at your pitch bin and mod wheel over here. You've got uh, different scale modes. Um, we're playing in chromatic. It looks like a chromatic keyboard. Um, or I can go into you know, any of these other modes here um, for everybody who's playing in, uh, you know, like uh, Ryuku -hu mode. We have it. I can feel a big hit coming from that. Um, you can pick and choose any of your notes within the scale. Choose different voice modes, uh, the different mono modes, low, high, last, and the poly modes, reset and circular. Next page we go to is we go to the um, into the vector page, and this is where you have control over this vector. Now playing with the uh, the joysticks, great fun and all, but uh, you can't really be expected to do that while you're playing. So what we have here in the Profit VS was a very cool multi-point envelope. And what you can do is you can pick different points along this X, Y that, uh, that the thing will automate through. So it's basically automating your joystick movements through here. To have this work, you have to have your envelope on. Then you go into here, and now I can, uh, in a key, you'll hear it go. So it just went from A down here to D, went up between them all, up to B, and then over to C. And when I released it, it would come between 3 and 4. And then you can adjust the times. You can make them really fast and it just becomes part of the attack of the sound. So it does some interesting effects with that. One patch that uh, really makes good use of this is this uh, Drew Anderson string loop here. So you can hear he has each of these um, oscillators tuned differently if we turn off the, uh, the vector envelope. So he did a very cool uh, little thing uh, going between them all with different pitches, creating kind of an arpeggiator then. Next is the Mod Matrix page. The Mod Matrix allows you to route your modulation sources, the LFO's keyboard, filter envelope, ampli amplitude envelope, and two accelerometers, to any of these different uh, destinations. The destination amounts are controlled over here. You just touch and move and you'll see the value change. Um, right now we've got an LFO uh, 2 going to the pitch of, uh, I've got LFO 2 going to pitches of all four oscillators. So I'm going to turn it up. So that's a beautiful sound. Moving on into the effects page, we've got a very simple thing. We've got the overdrive in the middle. We've got a chorus with three different modes. And then we've got a digital, digital delay here. And you've got mix controls, time, and feedback controls on those. So that's iProfit in a nutshell. Um, check it out. You know, when you buy an app uh, like this, the original profit was, uh, I think, almost $2,000, maybe more. Um, now you can buy it for the price of a magazine. So. Download it, enjoy, make music.